looking at the weather forecast for Israel here and the weekend coming up here. It's 24 May 2019. It's a Friday. Saw this news report here. Popped up. Said that uh, it says the Jerusalem Post. And it starts by indicating that, bear with me one moment, one moment, uno momento, that's uh, Spanish for one minute, so I've been told, don't quote me on that, Uh, where the fuck is that shit that I just saw, world news, Theresa May stepping down as British Prime Minister, alright, they're gonna keep playing that over, and over again, okay, Jerusalem Post, here we go, we were just here, uh, let's see, 0833, we're talking about rockets in uh, Libya, but that's not what I'm looking for, I'm looking for, do, 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 do. by the way, thanks for tuning in, I just had this weather report up here, and by the way, it says North Korea, uh, Fox News is reporting North Korea says it won't resume talks unless U.S. changes. Let's see. Let's let's expand that. I talked about this earlier, but I just want to clarify. Unless it changes uh, position. Well, that's bullshit. Um, just to let you know. I'm not saying Fox News is bullshit. I'm saying that story, that story that North Korea won't continue to uh, come to the negotiating table. Uh, unless the U.S. changes its uh, position. It's fucking bullshit. That's not for real. Uh, they're saying that the uh, foreign ministry, uh, a sp- it says, quote, a spokesman of the North's foreign ministry. Yeah, there's always some dick-sucking fucking spokesman or spokesperson who represents North Korea. Um but isn't really speaking for the whole entire country. That's what people that's what people need to understand. North Korea as a unified voice didn't fucking say that shit. Okay? North Korea as a unified voice didn't say what this article claims claims was said. And the other thing is I've seen in news media where the West That is, Western media has misinterpreted what the North supposedly said. So, there's a good fucking chance the spokesperson for North Korea didn't even fucking say what this Fox News article is saying that that person said. You see, that's how bullshit things are nowadays. Now, keep in mind, I don't know where, I don't know the origin of this information. I don't know if it was originally Associated Press. I don't know if it's fucking Voice of America. I don't know if it's like NHK. Like, I have no fucking idea. I don't know if it's KCNA, the actual North Korean uh, state news owned and operated media. Like, I don't know if it's BBC. I don't know who the fuck said this shit, supposedly. I mean, and, and they're saying here that the comments came from Pyongyang's official Korean Central News Agency. But that's not one unified fucking voice, man. You know, there's a lot of shit that's come out of KCNA. And it's been insanity. Nonetheless, you you have had meetings and talks with the the Trump administration uh, in relation to North Korea. DPRK. DPRK. So, so you can't, you can't always believe this shit, man, that you're reading and hearing in the fucking news media, okay, it's some dangerous shit, man, the, the news media nowadays, and, 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 and quite frankly, always has been, but now with mass media, I mean, people will believe any motherfucking thing, just like Hitler talked about, so I'm not gonna believe that story, and again, no disrespect to Fox, Fox is just reporting the news as Fox is reporting, I'm saying, in terms of that headline, I don't care who the fuck it it, it comes from. I'm saying, right now, North Korea says it won't resume talks unless U.S. changes its position. I'm like, yeah, I don't believe that shit is true. North Korea will come back to the table. Because North Korea 
though it's played crazy. It's it's not really a crazy country like people have been led to believe. Um, it's a rational country that pretends to do crazy shit and be crazy at times. Now let's find this goddamn fucking article. Let me see. Let me go here. Let me just do this. And then let me go here. And let me just go to fucking history. All right. History. Bringing up the history. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, so I'm not seeing that. You know how like history is weird sometimes? Like the Mandela effect. All right. So I don't even see. I don't even fucking see the... Um, let me go back here. I, I, I apologize, um, folks. I'm trying to find... Okay, so... Average temperature in Israel. According to Gil Travel, Israel temperatures are usually in the high 80s, 90s. Tel Aviv and Tiberias will be hot and humid. Jerusalem is drier and cooler, particularly at night. Okay, thank you for that, computer. So, if that is indeed the case, then we need to find out why, uh, what's going on here with regard, and, and I'm only saying that in that Jerusalem Post uh, said right here. Hold on, hold on. I believe this is going to come up here. Uh, all right, all right, okay. Do, 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 do. Record, okay, so this is TV7 Israel News. Record high heat wave coupled with fires across Israel. Let's see, Palestinian news agencies reporting extremely hot, dry conditions, scorching temperature. This is between seven and eight hours ago. Uh, AccuWeather is reporting dangerous heat wave to stretch from Egypt to Turkey, Syria into Friday. Uh, the, the, uh, one week ago, even, it was being reported the Times of Israel, Gaza border protests canceled due to high temperatures. Ramadan. All right, so today, but let's get back again. Let's get back to Jerusalem. Uh, let me see. Sorry, I've got to do this manually, y'all. Um... Mm, 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 mm. Heavy heat train. All right, so basically what it was fucking saying was that Israel uh, may experience, and I believe it was, I did the math here. I don't want to give you the wrong information. See, that's that's the thing here. Let me let me just let me just pause this and come back to this. All right, I found it. So this is what I had seen earlier. This is a. Uh, this is from 24 May 19. That's the year 2019. Uh, May 24, that is today. Uh, 1233. Uh, so this is obviously naturally a different time zone. This is by uh, Benji Singer. And, and I'm just citing this scholarly. <laughs> scholarly. <laughs> scholarly. In a scholarly manner. It's just a headline, man. Um, Israelis are shvitzing as country suffers from hottest day of year. And we're talking about, according to this article here, what it is saying is, uh, 40 degrees Celsius. All right. So let's just use a fucking, I mean, unless you're, you know, able to do that math in your head immediately, we can just go ahead and do the, um, we can just go ahead and do the conversion here. I mean, we're looking at some fucking serious heat. Um, I I saw some 107 degree Fahrenheit, but let's um. But that that was with a couple of different uh, calculations here. Let's uh, let's just go Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion. So if you zero degrees Celsius equal 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you for that, computer. All right, so if you punch in 42, you guys can do this with me. It says 107.6 degrees. So if that article is accurate, which, again, I cited it uh, as the Jerusalem Post's article by Benji Singer. And the title, again, is Israelis are shvitzing as country suffers from hottest day of year. 40 degrees Celsius, man, doing the simple application Conversion from cel- from Celsius to Fahrenheit, it clearly says that's 107.6 motherfucking degrees. So, oh wow, and it says Beersheba 44, again from the same article, Ibid. So, just doing a simple math, man, adding uh, 
adding two to that of uh, god damn it adding two to the uh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this goddamn motherfucking 44 not fucking goddamn 4R okay so 44 makes it 111 all right 111 point 2 so we've added 2 to the original 40 when it was 40 degrees celsius it was what did i say 107.6 right okay so we added 2 no 4 no we've added 4 we've added 4 so so 4 degrees difference 4 degrees difference makes it 111 is what i meant okay i corrected my fucking self 111.2 Sim- simple just plug it in just you know if you don't want to do it by hand or if you don't know it mentally like off the top of your dome cuz you just you know you do the conversion from celsius to fahrenheit and vice versa um man just plug that shit in the fucking google man like i did and it'll tell you 111.2 in beersheba that's some fucking serious shit man uh, let's see Average temperature in Iraq. It says here 48 degrees Celsius. Man, so that's 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So 120 degrees. So this is 9 degrees different. If it does in fact hit 44 degrees Celsius in Beersheba, which is 111 degrees Fahrenheit, That means that the difference between the temperature that is projected, estimated, forecast for Beersheba is only not is less than nine degrees different from the average temperature in Iraq. Less than nine degrees different. The difference would be less than nine degrees, roughly approximately close to nine degrees. Simple motherfucking math here. All right. What are the hottest places on planet Earth? Here's a summary from The Independent, created with Sketch. The 10 hottest places on Earth. 1 tenth, eastern desert landscape near Wadi Halfa, Sudan. 2 tenths, camels near Timbuktu, Mali. 3 tenths, Mosaic Canyon in Death Valley, California, U.S., and more. All right, so the top three that the computer pointed out, Sudan, Timbuktu, Mali, and California, Death Valley. All right, so... Let's just go with the Death Valley comparison. What is the average temperature of Death Valley in California? In Death Valley, July is the hottest month of the year with an average high of 116 degrees Fahrenheit. December is the coldest month with an average low of 39 degrees. The month with the longest days is June when daylight lasts for an average of 14 hours. All right, so the hottest day right here that I'm seeing in front of my face is 116, all right, 116 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's Death Valley, average in, in, keep in mind, California, Death Valley, so the average in Death Valley is 116 degrees, Beersheba is supposed to be an upward of 111, so that's only five degrees different, with Death Valley being slightly hotter than Israel, Beersheba, by, by by five degrees ish, right? But check this out. What is the average temperature in Beersheba, Israel? In Beersheba, July is the hottest month of the year with an average high of 92 degrees Fahrenheit. January is the coldest month with an average low of 44 degrees. The wettest month of the year is January with an average of five rainy days and one inch of rain. The month with the longest days is June, when daylight lasts for an average of 14 hours. So if we do the simple fucking math on that shit, it shows July is being the hottest, 92 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you add 8 to that, that's 100, and then 11 more. So that's 19. So it's almost 20 degrees hotter than the average. It's estimated to be 20 degrees, approximately 19 to 20 degrees hotter than the average. Let's do the math again says right here, July, 92 degrees. If you add 8, that makes it 100. And then to add to that, another 11. 11 plus 8 is 19. It's all in 111 
and some decimal, you know, after the decimal and then some. So basically 111, between 111 and, uh, and uh, what did I say? 8 plus 11, 19. So 19 and 11, 8 degrees different. But we're looking at, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So what I'm saying is that the average is 92. So from nine, so to get to 111 degrees, we're looking at a 19 fucking, yeah, 19, yeah, that's what I'm saying, is 19, 19 to 20 degrees higher than average for Beersheba, Beersheba, Shiva, Israel, depending on how you pronounce that. Let's look at the average in Israel just overall. What is the average temperature in Israel? According to Gil Travel, Israel temperatures are usually in the high 80s, 90s. Tel Aviv and Tiberias will be hot and humid. Jerusalem is drier and cooler, particularly at night. Okay, so let, like, let's say that, that the high 80s are the average, which is what it says here. So let's go with this and assume that this information is correct. We have no reason to believe that it's incorrect, right? So if you look at the high 80s, right? In the high 80s, the difference between the high 80s, because that's the limit in the calculus, it's we're only talking about the maximum of the 80s. Then you've got the 90s, and then you've got to 10. So that's 20 plus degrees hotter than the average. It does say that uh let's see, so let's 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 look at this a little. Okay, so according to Gill Travel, uh annual average temperatures in Israel. Usually in the high 80s, 90s. Nonetheless, I mean, we're, we're still looking at, you know, 11 degrees above average, which, man, I mean, room temperature, you know, like let's say, you know, your, your, your average room temperature is 70 degrees, right? Okay, so you're accustomed to 70 degrees. Well, well now, now, now it's 80, one you're just kind of like, damn, man, room temperature has gone up. What if your what if your average temperature is is eighty where you live, and now now it's ninety one? What if what if you're accustomed to ninety one, but now it's now it's a hundred one? Well, now now it's a hundred eleven, maybe even hotter. I mean, fuck, dude, that's hot. So it's still not as hot as Iraq, Iraq, depending on how you want to pronounce that. What is the average temperature in Iran? According to holiday weather, July is the hottest month in Tehran with an average temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit and the coldest is January at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we've looked at Iraq. We've looked at Iran. Iran, the average. Let's see. What is the highest temperature in Iran? The forecast high for Tehran today is 89 degrees. What is the temperature in sub-Saharan Africa? According to World Regional Geography, welcome. Temperatures average around 64 degrees year-round everywhere except at the more temperate southern tip of the continent and in cooler upland zones. What is the average temperature in sub-Saharan Africa Fahrenheit? According to Trip Zappi, March is typically the last warm month in South Africa, with a daytime temperature ranging from 77 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Sub-Saharan Africa, average Fahrenheit. What is the temperature in Sub-Saharan Africa? According to World Regional Geography, welcome. Temperatures average around 64 degrees year-round everywhere except at the more temperate southern tip of the continent. Okay, so says, uh, okay, this is a Weebly site here. Let me just glean this intel here. All right, so there's a lot of uh, information. They're breaking down religion. And environmental population, okay, different countries on the continent. It says region is made up of 40 different countries. Interesting. And this is, looks like Anne McIntyre. 
I don't know if that's Andy or And. Um, all right, so let me see. Okay, what is the temperature in Africa? What does it mean to be sub-Saharan, climate of Africa? Let's just go to motherfucking Wikipedia, a non-scholarly source of information, and let's just see what it says. All right, so this is just like, it's just showing hot, cold. You want an actual temperature. Temperatures, boom, here we go. All right, let's look at this map here. All right, cooler, cooler, October, July. Mean outdoor temperature, indoor temperature. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit. Sub-Saharan app. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. It says, temperatures are hottest within the Sahara regions of Algeria and Mali and coolest across the south and at elevation within the topography across the eastern and northwest sections of the continent. The hottest average temperature on Earth is Dalal, Ethiopia, with averages uh, uh, which averages a temperature of 33.9 degrees Celsius, 93 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year. The hottest temperature recorded within Africa was, which was also the world record, was 57.8 degrees Celsius, which is 136 degrees Fahrenheit at Azizia, Libya on September 13, 1922. This was later proven to be false and to derive from an inaccurate. This was later proven to be false and to derive from an inaccurate reading of a thermometer. And to derive. Oh, I get it. Okay. Um, and to have later it was proven false was proven and to derive and to be derived to be false. I guess because you already say B. Um, so be false and derive. Got it. The world's hottest place is in fact Death Valley in California. Parent temperatures combining the effect of the temperature and humidity along the Red Sea coast of Eritrea and Gulf of Aden coast of Somalia range between 57 degrees Celsius, 135 degrees Fahrenheit and 63 degrees Celsius, 145 degrees Fahrenheit during the afternoon hours. Huh. So let's let's look at that again. The world's hottest place in is in fact Death Valley. Parent temperatures combining the effect of the temperature and humidity along the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden, coast of Somalia. Okay, so so let's then do this. Is Death Valley the world's hottest place? Park Service. Death Valley is famous as the hottest place on Earth and driest place in North America. Okay, so 134 degrees Fahrenheit, simple math, is uh, 23, right? One, okay, that's two. Four, uh, one, right? So, just, it's 11, man. So, 23. So, the difference of 23. So, 23 degrees away from the hottest place on Earth mean clearly, again, a rock hotter than Beersheba or Beersheba or Beersheba, however it's pronounced, however you pronounce it. It's written differently in different publications, in different bodies of uh, information, literature, different works. But nonetheless, well, let's just look it up. Let's see what Google says. How do you pronounce Beersheba, Israel? says right here, Beersheba. How to say Beersheba, Sheba. By Bible speak. Anyway, learn the proper pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation. Let's look at this here. Let's check it out and see how some folks claim that it is pronounced. What are the diacritical marks here? Oh, so many fucking... So many goddamn motherfucking advertisements. Not really understanding why. Just want to get the goddamn motherfucking information. All right. Can we just get the fucking info, man, here? Can we see? Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Shit. Well, it says right here. Well, this phonetic pronunciation is they're saying it's B or Sheba. B or Sheba? B or? Oh, I see. Beer. Not bear. It's beer. Beer. Beer Sheba. 
Beersheba. Beersheba. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, according to one source, but you can see where you can see where. Well, let's let's look at one more piece of information. What is the hottest temperature in Iraq? According to the Weather Channel, the hottest temperature in Iraq in this heat wave was in Kanakin, where the high on July 30th hit 52.0 C, 125.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So they're showing in that same body of information 123.8 degrees. So, I mean, again, it's only 12, 11 point, what is that, 1? No, 11.2. 11.2, no, 10.2-ish. 10 10 between, 10, between 10 and 11 degrees um, difference between, between the hottest temperature in Iraq and beer, Sheba, <laughs> however it's pronounced. I mean, it's close, man. It's fucking close, dude. So... I'm just trying to put it into perspective for 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 y'all and for for me like because dude I mean that's fucking hot and I saw that and I thought it was important and I was like yo we need to analyze this and now we have I'm your boy one sir grove